Fiji Sun quote news. In Lotoka, Justin Ho and Frederick Apelli appeared before the High Court today. Ho and Apelli are charged with one count of unlawful importation and exportation of illicit drugs and one count of unlawful possession, manufacture, cultivation and supply of illicit drugs. The two are alleged to have without lawful authority facilitated in exporting 2 kilograms of cocaine on December 23, 2018. The Lotoka High Court also heard the case of Avnil Dilashmani, who is charged with the murder of Push Chand. Today, the court heard that the accused claimed in his caution interview that he was sexually assaulted by the deceased. The alleged murder happened between 8th and 9th of February last year at Simla in Lotoka. Mani has been further remanded in custody. And in Suva, a 69-year-old former Suva lawyer who was arrested on Tuesday night last week following a drug raid at his house in Suva, has been further remanded in custody. Shahran Abdul Latif is charged with one count of found in possession of illicit drugs. It is alleged that Latif on March 3rd at Rewai was found in possession of 0.431 grams of white substances known as methamphetamine. The drug raid had resulted in the seizure of clear Ziploc plastic containing white crystal substances which was believed to be methamphetamine and later tested positive. And finally, 49-year-old Inokia Siva, a farmer of Kandavu, has been handed a jail term of 7 years imprisonment for being in possession of 15 kilograms of marijuana. On July 20th, 2018 at Suva, Siva without lawful authority was found in possession of an illicit drug, namely cannabis sativa, also known as marijuana weighing 15 kilograms. Siva brought to Suva a white and red striped bag with 15 kilograms of cannabis sativa plant materials contained therein to sell in Suva. High Court judge has also ordered that the drugs be destroyed by the Chief Registrar's Office with the assistance of the Fiji Police as soon as possible. For more details and developments in these court proceedings from Lotoka and Suva courthouses, Grab a copy of your Fiji Sun tomorrow or subscribe to our e-edition.